In this video, you will learn how to establish a connection between Python and Fluent. There are six main steps we will cover. Install Python. Install Omniorb. Compile the specific IDL files. Launch Fluent in AAS mode. Launch Python and connect to Fluent. And then we'll verify the connection with some examples. The first step is to download and install Python. For this example, we will be using the latest release of Python 2.7. Ensure that you are downloading the 64-bit version of Python and not the 32-bit version. Once downloaded, install Python using the default settings. The second step is to download and install Omniorb. The specific versions of Python and Omniorb must be compatible. Therefore, I'm using the version of Omniorb compatible with Python version 2.7. Omniorb is installed by merely uncompressing the downloaded zip file. We will specify the root directory of the C drive and note the path. We will then modify the Windows path environment variable. You can edit this variable by going into the Windows control panel or by typing the following command in a command window. Here you will see that we are adding two Omniord paths to the existing path variable. If you have installed Omniorb in a different directory, you will have to adjust these paths accordingly. We will then create a new environment variable Python path using the following command. The third step is to collect and compile the specific IDL file. In the ANSYS installation directory, Fluent, Fluent 18.1, Add-ons, Corba, Win64, copy the cofluentunit.idl file and paste it into a working directory. For this example, I have created a working directory called eWorkingFolder, which I will paste the file. Now open a command window, change to your working folder, and we'll run the following command to compile the IDL file. Once this is complete, you should see the following file and folder directory structure automatically created. The fourth step is to launch Fluent in AAS mode. In the Fluent Launcher, make sure your working directory is set accordingly. In the Environment tab, create the environment variable Fluent underscore AAS equals 1, then hit OK. Fluent will launch, and you will notice some additional lines in the console window. We will then launch Python and change to our working directory using the import OS and the os.chdir command. We will then issue the following commands to establish the connection to Fluent. Note that the syntax and variables are case sensitive. Now confirm the connection is working by issuing the Fluent Report Summary command. You will see that we set a variable Fluent Output equal to Scheme Controller .do menu command to string with the Fluent command Report Summary. We will then print out the variable. We can go into Fluent and issue the same command and verify that we get the same output. Another example shows how we can change a setting in Fluent from Python, such as turning the gravity option on and specifying the component magnitudes. Issue the Python command scheme controller .do menu command to string define operating conditions, gravity, yes, and the magnitudes. As soon as we hit enter, you will notice the Fluent session received the command from Python and is now set as specified. This concludes the demonstration of setting up the connection between Python and Fluent.